Evening all, and welcome back to Kerbalism, where we are launching this craft into orbit. Very, very gently. That did nearly fall down. Uh, yeah, this is our station we built at the end of the last episode, and uh, its whole job is to get into orbit and uh, be a refueling station. I've purposely sort of given the engines a bit here so it's not going as fast because I'm a little concerned about the antenna breaking off like it just did then. Yeah, figures. Figures. Because it was technically deployed, I thought that might happen. Okay. Okay. So when we first have first take a couple up here, we'll have to send a new antenna. Oh, that means we're going to fail the mission, aren't we? Although, it, yeah, it did register it had an antenna when we launched, so... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so maybe we will get the mission complete. It does technically have an antenna there, it's just smashed. Although I think these have antennas built into them as well, so maybe. Maybe that'll work for us. Okay. I still haven't got rid of them city lights. I must do that. Must do that. And uh, at the end-ish of the last episode, I was uh, talking about a mod that allows you to record missions. So I could send a craft from here to the station to refill it and then record it and then just it plays it back. It lets it go on its own. Uh, it's, the original one was called Routine Mission Manager, but apparently it's not updated. However, uh, Linux Guru Gamer, who I think pretty much takes on every single mod that goes dead in... Um, Kerbal Space Program because he seems to be just mad about doing that um, and I'm very grateful for it uh, he has got his own version of it up called Kerbal Space Transport System which I will install and uh, we can use to do this and it'll be it'll be good fun okay so there's that bit done let's uh, wait for it to turn over and then we will ditch those Awesome, away they go. Don't know where they're gonna go, they're gonna go up and come it down again, which is fine. Uh, but we're gonna wait until we're um, a bit further down, a bit further over. We have got plenty of control on this for um, torque. We've got our reaction wall down there, up there, and even the little, the little probe in the center. But uh, I wanna try and save this engine. Basically, I want to fire it, not at the last moment, but well, what we want to do then is we really want to point ourselves level here and uh, I suppose fire the engine. I'm going slightly off because uh, I want to bring my orbit back along. Apparently, we got our inclination is wrong. I can't see the inclination here. Doesn't tell me. No, and I didn't put any curve engineer stuff on here as well. Should have done that. Really should have done that. But I didn't. So, yeah. And those solar panels on the back on straight. Mind you, neither one's on the front, so. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, so let's point progratory and uh, get our nose up a bit more. The periapsis is currently 87, and we are approaching that pretty quickly. 21 seconds, 20 seconds. Uh, hopefully we can get into orbit. I kind of want to get into a round-ish orbit if possible. That would be really, really nice. At about 90, but I don't know whether that's going to be possible. I think I'm just kind of... Uh, Hoping my periapsis comes up. I'm looking at the numbers down here because obviously I haven't got any displays up there. But uh, it should be good. There we go. Our, our, our actual time is going up now. So let's slow that engine right down. Okay, there's 185. So I'm going to go for 100. 100 kilometer orbit. That's the idea. So let's walk around to our apparatus, almost our apparatus. 
because I'm not sure how quickly this thing can move. Rotate round. Quite a stumpy little nothing station, but... Ah, uh, yeah, it can rotate quite well. Um, and what I should have done as well is I should have really... Moved all the fuel into the center tank and tell this one to be a lower priority. Oh, there we go. Not for any particular reason, other than... I can. Okay, there we go. And uh, apparently we have completed the contract, even though we had a broken antenna. It's fine. I guess it reads the antenna that's built into here. So, um... So yeah, so we have mission complete, which is awesome. And we've missed the reference, which is fine. So let's fire the engine gently, gently, gently. And, uh, 100, 501, that's close enough for me. That will do. Okay. And I'm going to point it radio out, because it just makes sense in my head. Really, it should be putting in program, I suppose, but no, we're putting a radio out there. We go, and then all the people can look out across into space. Not that we have any people on here, but there we go. So, uh, one station in orbit complete. Now, what we need to do is uh, get other ones here. Uh, there was something. Oh, debris. Wow, I can click debris. Um, yeah, now what we need to do is. Uh, refuel it which uh shouldn't really be a major problem because we can just send up a refueler record it with this new mod that i'm going to install in a moment and uh away we go and here is the craft that we're going to use to refuel it here it's essentially uh a shuttle space shuttle because i wanted to build one actually um i've just put this together i haven't actually tested it uh, the center of thrust is roughly in the center, so hopefully we'll be okay for that. But um, we will find out. And uh, I don't even know whether it can fly and land. Uh, it should do. It's got enough wing space, wing wing mass, so we're good. But if things go terribly wrong, um, then yeah, uh, we have Lingui here as well. He's a pilot. Um, he's going to go up and actually stay on the station. This can be completely automated, so he's going to go up and stay there. Let's use this new mod, KSTS. Bomb, the Kerbal Space Transport System. Now, basically, you hit record, you fly your mission, and uh, then it's here, and then you can click on one of the buttons here and tell it to repeat the mission, and it will do it for you. So, that's the idea. Um, let's find out how this works. Now, in the past, I have used as well to build space stations, which is quite useful, because uh, you can just record up to the point to where you're at the space station and just go dock at that docking port and then pick another one go send the mission up for that one and you can build different things for it so yeah let's um let's give this a go now that's wrong for a start boom, 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 boom. okay we're going to do the whole make sure everything doesn't go terribly wrong and uh mission type transport we are transporting liquid fuel oh how much is in that one we have an orange tank in here it hasn't I really want to type in that number, 2,280. About the same there, 3,000, but it's 2,880. Let's see, I can't read, there we go. Uh, is that right? 2,885, yeah, that's good enough. Then 2,520, so that one, I suppose. That's a bit too much. That one. Okay. No, 
Okay. So we'll close that tank. Uh, sorry, that uh, cargo bay. And we'll hit start record. A bomb. Here we go. And uh, we go. So turn the engines up a little tiny bit. Right, that's good. Go. Oh dear. Oh dear, this is wrong. No. Cut the engine. Cut the engine. Abort. Oh, that was the wrong button. That was completely the wrong button. I did not mean to do that. But it, it doesn't really matter because this, this doesn't work. This clearly does not work. Uh, because those are too powerful. Um, yeah, compared to these down here, they are way too powerful. So I need to limit them. And you can't limit them here. So... So... It, yeah, anyway, um, he did not die, so I'm not terribly wrong there. Let's, um, let's recover the vessel. Okay, and let's, um, figure out balancing the thrust, because that's clearly something I forgot to do. So, what, what are these? What are these? Um, so it says main throttle, but you can't throttle the toilet boosters, so... Right, so let's have a look see here. So these are thoroughbreds. They provide 1700 kilonewtons of thrust. Oh, no, sorry, uh, 1500 in a vacuum. And these are skippers. Uh, I'm using skippers rather than mainsails because of um, the weight. Um, one mainsail wasn't enough, uh, it's six tons. Skippers are three tons, so I went with four rather than two mainsails, just because it made more sense. We don't have a fuel tank that splits into two either, so uh, they provide 565. So let's uh, let's talk to the trusty old calculator. So um, 568 times four is 2,272. Okay, and. One thousand five hundred. Oh, uh, I'm not typing. Sorry. Do do do. One thousand five hundred fifteen uh, times two is three thousand. So we need to bring these down. So uh, oh no, two thousand two hundred seventy-two. If I put these down to seventy-five percent. That brings our thrust down to 2,272.5 kilonewtons of thrust. And the skippers, let me just double check in, that is 568. So 568 times 4 is 2,272. So that should be completely balanced. These two here at 75% should produce the same thrust as those four there. That center engine is not firing, uh, not straight away anyway. It fires after these two disappear here. Um, and also, this one has, I've turned it off the throttle and said it's independent, 100%. So I can use the throttle to change the speed of these four to try and balance the craft. That's the idea. Um, also, this is, um, it's on but it's got the lower priority so it'll empty that tank last. But hopefully we'll have enough fuel uh, left to get home. At least. So let's, let's try that again. Let's do this here. Uh, what I might do as well is actually upgrade these engines. A bit high. Uh, upgrade that one as well. Just so we've got less likely chance for that. So maybe I should launch this in one go. Uh, it does have a pod in it, so it's not terrible. I mean, if something goes wrong at launch, we can very easily survive. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Right, okay, so record. So we want to do, um, I suppose we could give it some food. The thing is, I don't know how much I'm going to give it until I get there. That's a little annoying. I've got to do it this way, but yeah, we'll give it a go. So that one there, 2000, that one there, we might give it more. I don't know. 
we will see we will see so start recording and um, don't push that one there uh, SES full, no not full thrust not full thrust we don't want to do a little bit of thrust okay and fire all good fire oh oh come on come on come on come on come on pitch back pitch back nope nope Bought everything, bought everything. Ooh. Okie dokie. And there go our intercontinental ballistic missiles. Um, which over today? No, I can't. Oh, it's a can. There we go. Awesome. Aha. And it's going to run into the ground. There. Boom. And the other one. Oh, the other one's still going. Let's go and click to that one. Oh, uh, close. There we go. Because we've got the easy vessel switch, I can hold control and just click on another craft and it will do it. And then we can just basically watch it go. So this looks like it's just going to plumb itself straight into the ground as well, but. Um, Oh, maybe it's going to pitch up a little bit. Look at that. 290 meters a second. 300. Oh, and that's why there is no wildlife left on Kerbin. Okay. Um... Uh, let us go back to the space center, shall we? Oh no, let's uh, let's switch over to. Oh, can't switch. We're too far away. Can I click on any of those? Or are we just way too far away? Ah, oh, they're not actually loaded in. They're looking. Nope, not actually loaded in. Let's uh, go over to the map then and. Uh, Nope. Okay. Uh, back to the space center. Okay. So third time's a charm. I've dropped these down to sixty percent thrust. So uh, hopefully that will be enough for what we need. Uh, what was the size of that tank in there? I can't remember. Uh, 3520 so we can go to that one and you can go up one more I believe no you can't go there okie dokie right so here we go third time is a charm uh bum bum launch oh cancel 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 cut 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 everything cut everything cut everything we had an engine failure we had an engine failure at launch when I really thought that we wasn't doing anything with it. So, yeah, okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> shut down the engine, shut down the engine. There we go, right, so, yep, we had an engine failure right there. Oh, Kerbalism. Okay, so fourth time's charm, right? That's exactly what we were saying there. Um, I did notice these numbers started changing as I was launching, so I could just say, hey, we're going to throw all the liquid fuel oxidizer, what we're doing, and they drop as you go. So and just that's what we're, we're sending up there. Um, I suppose we could send some food and water to them as well, couldn't we? But let's, let's go with about 50% of each of those. Uh, oxygen... Atmosphere, not that we particularly need the atmosphere. More I want to keep. That nitrogen can go up to 50%. Uh, solid fuel you're not having. So, yeah, okay. Okay, so, start recording. Rust up the engines. Ha! Huh. Take four. Everything looks good. Launch the engines, go. Oh dear. T 
take five. Now we can't even look. Well, this is progress. Not very good progress, but it is progress nonetheless. Um, we have no wings, so we've taken them off completely. But uh, we are actually coming up, which is a good thing. drop the, the thrust down just a little tiny bit for these engines here and then our pitch seems to be doing a bit less work which is what we want yeah you see these numbers all here start coming down as again and you can change them as well so I can start recording and then just change these numbers to exactly where I want to go and then it would be okay I'm not really sure I'm not not sure what's going on now uh, come on. what's going on what's going on Perfect. Back to the surface. Just point radial out if you can. That's what we want to do. We want to go up. Oh god. Oh god. This just this this just isn't working, is it? No. No, this this just this just very clearly is not working. I think, I think, um, I, th I think, I think perhaps we should give up on this one. This might be an idea to give up on that. Yeah, because there we go, we've lost, we're nowhere near. We need to just generally go straight up, and this doesn't have the thrust to do it, which is very strange, because according to the, um, drop everything off, please. Retrograde. You're going to die, Ludwig, I'm really sorry. But um, I can't do anything about that. I should have got you out. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so because I just want to flog a dead horse one more time and uh, want to give it a go here. Uh, I've slapped a flight engineer computer inside here and um, taken the crew out. We have no crew, it's just automated now. And... I am utterly, utterly confused. In the VAB, it tells me I have a 1.22 thrust to weight ratio. When I launch the craft out to here, it tells me I've got 1.09, which doesn't make any sense. Why is it different here? Why, why, why is that a thing? Um, yeah, I just don't understand that at all, but hey-ho. I've turned these engines up a little tiny bit to 66%, uh, I think. So we're going to try again, because... And uh, I did not hit the record button, did I? So that means this mission is going to go perfectly well. Okay, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I don't... I don't mind. If we can just get up there and get some fuel onto it, we can get our doing things done. That's what we're doing this for, so that we can have 58 days, we can send some ships up, refuel them, and uh, away we go. So, yeah, I think so long as this gets up in the air, it might also have a small problem of um, when we drop these off, we're going to have to drop our thrust so much that I don't think this is actually going to work. I'm honest. we will see we will see um, the other version of this I kind of thought of doing was um, putting four of these just on the plane two three four and uh, seeing what happens but um, we need a bit of shimmy isn't really what we want um, I think that's due to these usually oh well, what's going on now Uh, 
back to change the gimbal on one of them and not the others. Probably, yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine, we're fine, we'll, we'll just, we'll just... We'll just uh, apparently do things that I don't quite know what it's doing. This, this is unbelievably unstable, which makes sense. I mean, in, in the thick atmosphere, the wings are probably helping for us, but when we're up here, um, things are just wrong. But as long as we're going up, kind of okay with it. That is what we want. Okay, so now this this is the other thing as well. This is a... Where things become a bit of a problem, because we need to get pointing upwards so but we can't do that because our thrust is just so oh hold on maybe it's because the thrust is uh yeah no this is this is not gonna work this is very clearly not gonna work Ooh. we're okay we're okay. Right, well, let's see whether we can land this, shall we? Let's let's give that a go at least, and um, then we'll give up on this and uh, try and figure something else out because clearly this isn't working. Maybe just a rocket. Maybe maybe we'll just just send a rocket because they work. They go up in the air. They do what they're supposed to do. They kind of know what they're doing. Now, I don't know how well this actually glides, or how well it flies, or if it flies at all, um, but we will find out. We get down into the thick atmosphere, here it is, here's the, the atmosphere thick, let's see whether I can pitch up and, and slow this beast down. I don't want to pitch up too hard because we might end up a... Uh, bellying and we don't want to belly out. That looks okay. The engine's not enough to actually make this thing fly. That's the problem. Maybe if we put a main tail that would work, but it was too heavy and it messed up all the aerodynamics. So the wonderful things crashing into the water. Awesome source. Also this is messed up because the centre of mass is way in the centre of it. Right way here because it's designed uh, I designed the um, center lift to be in just having fuel in here. I was expecting that tank and center to be empty, so let's turn around. I actually use that. Can we speed up a little bit? No, we can't. We're going for a water landing. But this, without the tank and center, I think this this would be an okay design. I think this would be all right. Now, that was actually speeding us up a little bit. I'm going to try and make the island runway. Give it a try. Uh, you, uh, you can also do pitch. Everything, every wing we have. Lift that nose up. Come on. Come on. Uh, I'll use up the fuel that's in the uh, the orange tank. We're not pitching up. I'll tell you that much for free. Um. <laughs> Oh, it's heavy. Oh, we lost the engine. We lost the engine and the wheel. But we're down. We're down. A crew would have survived that. That's the important part. Crew would have survived that. Success. Yeah.
Okay, so it's very, very, very apparent that I am no good at flying space shuttles. Uh, we have very sadly lost another Kerbal. I'm very sorry, Lemwing. Um, your courage was fantastic, but um, my piloting skills were not, so... But I think we shall leave that one here, and then next time I'll just build a rocket, and we'll go with the rocket, because that's easier. Much easier. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again next time. And uh, until then, as always, have fun.